good, good culture and good process starts at the top. The people you collect are, is reflected by what the person at the top wants. How you treat people set at the top. Everything's set at the top. You run an organization, you own an organization. Here's how we treat people. That's all at the top. And, you know, I sit here and I don't, I've met him a few times. I don't know Murray, right? I don't know. But I do think when, I feel like when the marching orders are to make the playoffs, I don't think it's to get a worse draft pick or to, you know what I mean? Like I, I think at a certain point, his heart is in the right place. I'm, the, the checkbook is open. We want to make the playoffs, and I want I want playoff games. I want people in the but seats. You want, you want all of that. Game. Okay, here's the question I put to you though. And, and again, I don't know Mr. Edwards at all. I met him, talked to him, but yeah. it's not like we're friends. Does he want to make the playoffs? Because it's a, it's we got a chance at winning, or does he want to make the playoffs? Because it's good business. It's good. That's business. Good bottom line thing to do. Right? You, oh, if, if the mandate is to make the playoffs, sure, you can respect that and it gives the fans a chance and you always have that outside. You get in the playoffs, anything can happen. And half the teams don't make it and that sucks. Only half do. So the, the trend they're on every other year <laughs> kind mm -hmm. of goes. But are you trying to build a team to win or make the playoffs? Yeah, I agree. It's half the league gets in. Getting in is, it's, Something that if you view yourself as better than half the league, you should do all the because time. And I think the owner feels that way. But the problem is, I don't think he wants to be a top, like a 90 to 100 percentile team. Like we want to build the best organization on earth. Well, okay, then you got to think longer than making the playoffs every Who year. Who are the you, top teams for? They've all picked well, high. Toronto has Austin Matthews. The Lightning have Victor Hedman and, and Steven Stamkos. The Lightning both top built picks. that team. Toronto yeah. has been built. Yes, Edmonton yeah. had four first first overalls in seven years, and yes, yeah, summer swings and misses, but they got a generational talent. There Avalanche, are not contenders that don't pick high. Chicago Avalanche had McCarr built. and McKinnon in the top. And Colorado was Scott. built. Like and Landeskog's a high pick. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, you can look longer term, and this fan base is smart enough, they won't abandon you if you show them a bit of a plan. No. This isn't like trying to sell losing hockey in Miami. Yeah, if, you are not going to have 5,000 people in the building no. ever. Like, show them a plan. And then the, the one thing I wonder about, because Murray, for people that interact with him in his other spaces, oil and gas, et cetera, very bottom line focused. And as a business person, you respect that because that's what you're in business for. You're not there for friends. You're there to make money. He's very good at it. He's an obscenely wealthy man. I think with a new rink on the horizon, and look, nothing's done, but all the comments we've heard out of City Hall from the Flames and from the provincial government has been incredibly positive. Things are all coming together. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we have an announcement by the summer about things getting back underway. If you put a date on the calendar, does he change his approach a bit? Because I tell you what you don't want to open a new building with, a shitty fucking hockey team. But I don't think they ever think they're going to have a shitty hockey team. I think they're going to meet Midland. Um... I th Honestly, I think Pinder, this has probably been I, an eye-opening year. I think you're right. Like history has been different, but the only variable that changes in my scenario is we need to be good in 2027. Let's say, okay, well, maybe I will accept a couple steps back to make the big leap forward. But again, we're, we, no one knows. The guy doesn't say anything. The city was going to cut him a check for 300 million. He didn't even show up for the ribbon cutting. Like we never hear from the fucking owner. <laughs> it's fucking $300 million of public money. For your profit factory, you're wealthier than any other person in this city. You could fart out an arena if you wanted to a decade ago. We're giving you the money. You couldn't even show up and say hi? 